this is always a beautiful gathering of the faithful. It's beautiful to see the diversity of believers in Northwest Indiana. And of course, we get many people that come from all over the country here. I heard of someone who drove nine hours to be here, came from North Dakota. I have some other friends and who've come here from Michigan, driven about three and a half, four hours, and they'll return later today. So it's a, it's a magnet, and the magnet here is because people want a way to tangibly uh, experience their faith, and the Shrine of Christ's Passion is a great way to do that. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Lord and my God, under the loving eyes of our Mother, we are making ready to accompany you along this path of sorrow which was the price for our redemption. We wish to suffer all that you suffer to offer you our poor, contrite hearts, because you are innocent, and yet you are going to die for us, who are the only really guilty one. So the pattern of the prayer today will be to be guided along the different statues that uh, memorialize Christ's passion. And so at each one we stop and we say a prayer, and they're simple prayers so that people can respond from their heart. I think we're blessed with a beautiful day and thankfully as more and more people are used to congregating together after the, the dark days of COVID a few years ago, uh, I expect we'll have record crowds here today which will be a real blessing. This is a beautiful season uh, for all men and women of goodwill, particularly for we Christian believers. And so I pray for all of us in Northwest Indiana and beyond that the warmth and the light of Christ's love will shine in our hearts and that we'll share that with others so that we can just radiate the love that God intends for all of us.